This microwave oven should be a familiar sight. Most people have a microwave in their homes, but few know how they actually work. The secret is this device, known as a magnetron. The magnetron consists of two permanent magnets flanking a copper ring. The ring has a copper rod in the middle, a filament made of tungsten and thorium coils around the rod. Between the rod and the ring is a vacuum. The copper rod is a cathode, or negatively charged electrode. The copper ring is an anode, a positively charged electrode. An electric field exists between these two electrodes. When you turn the microwave on, a current runs through the filament. Negatively charged electrons travel through it, generating a lot of heat. Eventually, the filament gets so hot that electrons boil off the surface, so to speak. Because there is a vacuum between the cathode copper rod and the anode copper ring, those boiled off electrons are easily propelled by the electric field attracted to the positive anode. This is where the magnets come in. The north end of one of the magnets faces the south end of the second. So the copper ring and rod are inside the magnetic field created between those two magnets. This magnetic field bends the path of the electrons moving from the filament to the copper ring. Called the Lorentz force, this force causes those electrons to spiral as they leave the filament, forming a sort of pinwheel in the vacuum. The tips of this pinwheel and the negative charge concentrated there pass over grooves cut into the inner surface of the copper ring at regular intervals. As the negative charge comes and goes across the mouth of each groove, it creates an electromagnetic wave inside that groove of a very particular frequency, a microwave. An antenna directs those microwaves into a waveguide, which then delivers them to the chamber where the food is. The microwaves bounce back and forth between the chamber's metal walls heating up the food. How exactly do microwaves cook the food? Inside the food are countless water molecules. Water molecules are polarized, charged positively on one end and negatively on the other. When exposed to a microwave's electric field, they want to align with it. Since the waves are always moving, creating a series of constant flipping electric fields, water molecules, in turn, are constantly flipping as they try to align with those fields. Your microwave's frequency is designed to heat up the water inside your food. If you put something with little to no water in it, like freeze-dried ice cream, it would not warm up very much. And that's how it works. Electricity, magnets, and a vacuum tube. Another incredible invention made possible with the power of electromagnetism.